Hey, do you mind if I just cut in here? I've only got four pages. Standing here making copies or anything. I know, it's just I've only got four pages and Terry needs them like yesterday, so. You could ask. Oh, I tried to. You were listening to your music. And were you able to reconstruct the items found in the shredder? Yes, there were uh, bills of sale for two fur coats, a uh, pink slip for a Porsche, and statements for offshore bank accounts. And in whose name were each of those items? The defendants. Thank you. Nothing further. Did any of these reconstructed documents show income to Faith Hunter that she hadn't reported? No, but there were... No, no is sufficient. You asked the question, let him answer that. There were several cash deposits made to her checking account. Which could have been deposited by anyone, right? Objection. Calls for speculation. Sustained. Again, these reconstructed documents, did they in any way indicate that Faith Hunter knows where Drew Coleman is? Same objection, Your Honor. Sustained. Nothing further. The witness may step down. Your Honor, the people rest. I move the case be dismissed for failure to state. Perform a motion made, perform a denied. We're adjourned for the day. All rise. Good work, If you hadn't been trying to help Faith, you wouldn't have said anything about going back to that strip joint, huh? You've been holding that in for uh, how long now? About a week? Three days. Now, can you answer my question, please? Probably wouldn't have said anything. All right, well, do me a favor. The next time you decide to play single, remember, you have a wife who would like to know where her husband is. I just need a little common courtesy. Oh, common courtesy? Like the kind you gave me when you went and bought that damn car? That's what this is about, Lem? You still tripping about my car? I'm not tripping, Bird. I'm just accepting that we had different ideas about what's important. I'm going to Terry's. Try to cheer her up. You do that. Hmm. some chicken and dumplings, oh. and a little salad. I just I put a frozen dinner in the microwave. You can't eat that junk and expect to kick butt in the courtroom. Hey, remember Mama used to make us fried catfish and cornbread the night before the test? Uh-huh. She'd say it was brain food? Uh-huh. <laughs> food isn't gonna help me now. I'm getting my ass kicked again. That's gonna be all right, T. Is it? Just feel like I can't get a break. This past year has been hell. Well, I can't argue with you there. Between the divorce and Mama's death and not making partner, and almost losing you guys, and leaving Green Norris. All that stuff with Damon. I didn't say anything about Damon. Well, you should. It's a lot on you, T. No wonder you're having panic attacks. Damn, bird. What? What panic attacks? I thought she knew. I told you I wasn't going to tell her. How come this is a secret for me? Because there's nothing to tell. Well, what is Bird talking about? You see? 
Maxine, I didn't tell you because I knew that you would overreact and assume that I was doing too much for you. And then you would have stressed out even more about everything. Okay, so are you having panic attacks? No, Maxine. Okay, listen, let's just deal with right now. Okay, and right now, T is the smartest, strongest, best lawyer there is. And you can kick anybody's ass. And we ought to know. You kick ours all the time. <laughs> Hello. Yo, this place is on point. Best in town. I just refer her to a good criminal attorney. Yeah, why didn't you? Mm. Because Faith's broke. Because she's family. Wow, you are really amazing. You know that? No, I don't know that. And I won't know it until I win the case. We're not going home tonight, are we? <laughs> Better go call my boyfriend. <laughs> already in the car. Ahmad, don't give me my shoe back. Ahmad, try to act like the older brother and give your sister her shoe. Hey, aren't you wearing the same pants you had on the other day? Yeah, the other pants you had out for me fell on the floor and got wrinkled. Well, I hope you're not wearing the same dirty underwear from the other day, too. Yeah, I know, in case I get in an accident. You know, most people crap themselves when they get in an accident. Ahmad. Well, I don't see what's the point of wearing clean underwear if they're going to get messed up anyway. You're nasty. He sure is. It is just a figure of speech, smarty pants here. Take your lunch and your sister and get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, It's only Maxine speaking. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Habit. What's up? Hair products and attitude. I ran out of the one I need and no shortage of the one I don't. What's up with you? Laundry, dishes, and more laundry. Aww. But it's got to be nice to be back with the kids, huh? Take a break from the 9 to 5. Oh, yeah. Now I'm back to my 24-7. Listen, the reason why I was calling is um, I wanted to see if you could break out for lunch. I think I might be able to squeeze you in. 12.30 sushi? Hey, you got it. All right, I'll see you then. Bert. Thanks. Don't thank me. You treating Mama. <laughs> oh. Hi, Faith. It's almost noon. Why are you sleeping in? What do you want, Faith? 
I'm 27 years old. I cannot go to prison for 30 years. Well, if you run, you will be caught, and you will be...